It's another one from BFG's Thermo Intelligence line, the GeForce 9800 GTX H2OC. You like how they did that? It's like water, but it's overclocked. They combined them. They overclocked the heck out of this thing. It's, it's almost sick and disturbing what they've done with this. I mean, it is water. It's like the perfect little thing to take in the bathtub with you. And then you can just play with it because it's, they, these things love water. No, they don't. They only love water cooling. I actually got an email. Some guy said, oh, uh, are these the ones that are waterproof? And I emailed him back uh, this, this message. And when he opened it, a fist just flew out of its monitor and him in the face. That's what I did. <laughs> if I can't do that, I get in trouble. Now, I said they overclocked the heck out of this thing. Well, they overclocked the snot out of it. It's really, really, really crazy. It's all the way up at 780 versus 675 on the core. That's uh, pretty extreme. Also, it's got 512 megabytes of uh, DDR3 or GDDR3. Someone yelled at me because I said DDR3 instead of GDDR3. Yeah, I mailed them that same letter. Uh, anyway, the uh, memory clock is effectively 2300 megahertz. Also, the uh, shaders, let's talk about those. The uh, stream processors, we got 128 of those, and the shader clock is at 1944. It's a good year. It was a good year for blowing stuff up, and they knew it, and that's why they clocked it like that. This thing's extreme. And one of the things I like about the uh, 9800 GTX is the fact that it's the, uh, well, it's the newer chipset, so it uses the 65NM processor, it uses less power than the 8800 GTX. It's a little bit faster than the 8800 GTX. Um, not sure if it's a completely viable upgrade in the uh, stock version, you know, upgrading a stock uh, 9800, no, upgrading to a stock 9800 GTX, but with the water cool, oh, it's nice. And also, it's a single slot card. See that? It's nice and thin. You have two DVI ports and the S video port right there, 2560 by 1600 through both of those. And since it's nice and thin, you're going to have room to use lots of these. And you might want to use lots of these because take a look at that. We've got two SLI bridge connectors, meaning you can use this in Tri-SLI. It's one of only three cards right now that supports Tri-SLI, the other two being the 8800 GTX and the 8800 Ultra. And this is the other one. The fastest systems in the world right now are using three uh, 9800 GTX cards. And the nice thing about this, when you think about it, if you're using three with the stock cooler on there, you're not going to have any room for, cool, for um, anything else, any other cool devices. You're not going to have any room for any sound cards or anything like that. But with this one, you're going to be able to uh, put more stuff in your system. You'll have room for sound cards. There'll be room in, in between these cards to put stuff. And the water block keeps them nice and cool. Now, let's talk about how it runs as far as uh, gameplay. I'm going to compare this one with the, uh, the GX2. And then I'm going to tell you how fast it is with two and three of these cards in your system. So going right into the benchmarks, Bioshock 2560 by 1600. 8x anascropic filtering. Uh, one of these cards is at 51 frames a second. A 9800 GX2 is at 66 frames a second. Now, uh, if we put two of these in our system, which with two of these in the system, it's about the same price as a GX2. You're getting 82 frames a second. And with three of these, you're getting 91 frames a second. All right, World in Conflict 1920 by 1200, uh, 4x anti-aliasing and 8x anascropic filtering. 25 frames per second with one of these. Now the 9800 GX2 is 27 frames per second. You hardly ever see a GTX that's that close in performance to the GX2. The GX2 is usually a lot faster, but this one with all the overclocks and the water cooling, it's pretty close to the GX2. If you put two of these in your system, you're gonna get 36 frames per second. And with three, you're gonna get 42 frames per second. That's awesome, that game uh, really really, really, really needs a monster rig. I think it's uh, even more demanding than Crisis. At high resolutions, it needs a lot. Now, what else do we have here in the box? We got all the uh, connections. Take a look at this, we got the, the pipes. Everything you need there. And you know, all the rest will be provided by uh, your water uh, cooling unit. So make sure you get a good one. Hook it all up together. Uh, also in the box, you do need uh, two of the uh, six pin PCI Express connectors for power. Uh, they've included one, and on the other side we have the uh, two Molex connectors there. There's the one. Also in the box, if you someone if you're someone who wants HDMI, well they've included a way to get HDMI. DVI on one side, HDMI on the other, so you can run a signal over to your uh, TV, your plasma, your widescreen LCD, and you can get 1080p through that. That's nice. If you want VGA, well you've got VGA. DVI on one side, VGA on the other. And let's suppose 
maybe you uh, don't want HDMI, but uh, you want component. Well, they've included component as well. Component on one side, uh, S-Video on the other. So you can plug that up and get a component connection. 1080i is the uh, max resolution through the uh, component connection. So there you have it. Sick and disturbing how fast this thing is. Um, I really like this. If I could put three of these in my system, well, I might do that. So if you pick up a 790i motherboard, uh, one of the ones from BFG or something like that, and put three of these in your system, send me a picture. I'll put that on my uh, next inbox video. That'd be awesome. Send it over to uh, Logan at uh, CompuSay.tv or Tiger.tv. Either one you want. Whatever feels comfortable for you. You can put that. You put that on the video. They're putting it on the banners. May as well. If you guys have questions, click on Q&A. It's at the top of the page. I'll see you next time. For more information on the BFG 9800 GTX H2OC edition from BFG, go to CompUSA.com and type B52-9810 into the search box. Or call us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. 1-800-COMP-USA.